Okay, this is the part that I didn't get to when I was talking about, um, I was talking about this Elliot Smith dream and the feeling of being in a trance. Being concerned that um, I could be made to do things unaware, maybe things I don't actually want to do. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about the physical symptoms of the day that I remember. So um, I should have probably been writing these down all day because I feel like I probably have forgotten some. But um, the, I think that the implant that I'm feeling is in my small intestine. That's just my guess. And it's been doing something all day. Like I know it's there. I feel it. It has all these effects. Um, something I call a head whoosh at 3 a.m. That was weird. It was a little scary, but it was short-lived. Um, there's all kinds of head whooshes that they can do. Um, <laughs> oh, this one is funny, actually. Uh, so, um, the sudden sprained wrist feeling. This has been done in my ankles as well. So, all of a sudden, you'll be just doing, going about your business, and all of a sudden, you feel like you've got a sprained wrist or a sprained ankle out of nowhere. And it might be there for a little while, and then it disappears. Like, I've, you know, sometimes it'll persist, but like this. This time and, and frequently, it's there for maybe an hour or two. I mean, you really feel like you have a sprain. Normally, if you actually had a sprained wrist or a sprained ankle, it would last for at least a few days. But this is like, a, and, and there would be a cause. You would actually remember how it happened. No, this just happens out of nowhere and then goes away as quickly as it comes. But the funny thing about this one is I was reading about Mary Lou Lord in... Um, Everett True's Nirvana book and I kind of picked up on the fact that he she mentioned having carpal tunnel from playing guitar so much and he picked up on that and footnoted it and like explained what carpal tunnel syndrome was and I thought that was kind of odd um, I thought he must be talking about I felt like it was sort of his sideways way of saying there's something more here than meets the eye um Slightly f swollen feeling neck, not painful, as painful as before, but it still feels swollen. It still does not feel normal, my neck area, that same area I showed in a video from a few days ago. Um, and this strong craving for ice cream. So I remember after waking up in the middle of the day, I wanted a chocolate milkshake. Now, I'm not the type of person that's going to go run down the street and get a chocolate milkshake. I mean, well, maybe if it was, there was one right next door but but then it's kind of now it's like a mint chip ice cream and this is not normal I don't normally crave ice cream and it's a very specific and it's very strong um so maybe when I was younger I used to eat a lot of ice cream maybe I maybe I was made to crave ice cream through mind control I don't know but this is I think basically the same thing that happens to Chris when he's being attacked with relapse beams so you have some sort of pathway in your head that's dormant um, that they inflame or create or, well, they, I don't think they create it. I think you have to already have some sort of, you know, yes, ice cream would be really good right now kind of pathway in your brain. And then they just uh, light it up and it's very difficult to resist it. Uh, if you aren't aware of what's going on or if you're, you know, prone to sort of semi-trance states or whatever, it's probably, and if it's something even stronger than ice cream, you know, that has a stronger response than ice cream, my, at least ice cream for me, then you probably would be powerless against this practically. Um, So that's like a drag. I don't like having, I mean, you know, it's like, uh, thank God I'm not an opiate addict. Thank God. Or any other kind of serious drug addict. I mean, serious drug addict. I'm not a drug addict. But, I mean, um, you know, a smoker or an alcoholic or any of those things. Thank God. Because um, that's a very um, powerful attack. It's a very specific attack. When I get it with food, and I sometimes it'll be beer, like I really want to have like a, a specific drink. And it's not just been one drink. It's been other types of drinks. But um, it's a very specific kind of craving. Something that you like or might have liked at one time and then maybe you haven't 
thought about it lately, but then all of a sudden you get this very strong craving for that specific thing. So that was today. It was ice, ice cream. And Chris, Chris went through a breathing episode that I think was externally created because his hands were shaking and everything, and I just recognize it as stuff that gets done to me, the type of thing that gets done to me where it, it feels like an anxiety attack, but he also has the added complication of having breathing issues and having weight issues. So it's, um, and he's older, so it's much scarier when it happens to him. And, um, you know, it's just, the situation we're in is anything but safe. That's, that's all I know for sure.